going to go ahead and start doing some groundwork exercises with Snoop here and see if I can't get his attention a little bit back on me and build some trust so that we can make the trailer loading a success. I'm going to just test out some of the things he may or may not know. I already know that he was being a little sticky about moving his shoulder, so I know I'm going to go in and do some work there. Moving the shoulder gets him out of my space to keep me safe, but the other counterpart to that is being able to move his hip away from me. Because if I can't move his hip away from me, you can see how I could get in a position where he could kick at me. And at the same time, all of these exercises are meant to get him more focused on me. If a horse is out in the pasture and there's a more dominant horse that controls him, then he ends up yielding himself, himself and he ends up allowing himself. They understand this herd dynamic. And so I want to test out some of these things. What I'm doing right there is I'm tapping him on his cannon bones and asking him to back up. Again, that's something for my safety, because if I can back him up like that, then that's going to keep me safe, him out of my space, keeps us both safe. So there we go. What we're looking for is we're looking for him to start to make some changes in his thinking, and we'd like him to look to me as a leader. Right now, what's happening is I ask him to take the backward steps, and he does, but then he's instantly coming forward. He's not comfortable with me rubbing him with the stick and string yet, but at the same time, I'm not comfortable with him coming into my space. So even though I'd like to be spending a little bit of time rubbing him here, I'm not willing to let him get pushy with me. Notice a big difference when I switch from one side to the other. You could see him jump there. Right now, I'll need to spend a little bit of extra time rubbing him and building some confidence. Some of the things that you can keep in mind when you're getting ready to haul horses is that they need to have some confidence in you as a leader when you take them up to the trailer. It's also going to be a lot harder if they're buddy sour when you take them up to the trailer, because if they're buddy sour, then you're going to be working against their desire to be with their friends. And there's nothing wrong with them having friends, but they still need to respect you and your decisions to take them away, because that puts you set up as the, as the dominant leader in the herd. But when you're hauling them, you need to keep some of their emotions and their thoughts in mind. For example, if you're going to haul a very young horse, like a weanling that has just been weaned, it is nice if you can keep their emotions in mind and possibly haul them with an older horse. For example, last fall we sold one of our babies that was born in April, and in October the horse needed to be hauled from Ohio to Alabama. And the horse had never been hauled that long, and it was a young foal, so we chose to put one of our old seasoned horses into the trailer with the foal. And that allowed that foal to have a good experience in the trailer at an age when it was unrealistic to wait until that horse had enough experience to haul that distance. So keep the horse's emotions in mind. Another similar story would be when I recently went back to Maine and picked up my 18-year-old gelding who had spent the last 10 years of his life with one horse and that horse had died and I knew that the loss of that friend and hauling all the way back from Maine to Ohio was going to be traumatic enough on him so I opted again to throw another quiet friend in along for the ride and that's just keeping their emotions in mind. It's not because it's ideal that they need that, but do keep in mind, I didn't have time to take and train that 18-year-old or that weanling.